Next, we're going to look at the elements that are not in sets. We'll call those the complement of sets. Okay, so a set A has its own elements. The complement of a set A, denoted by A prime, it's kind of like the negation of the set, everything that's not in it, is the set of all elements in the universe that are not in A. All right, so they still have to be in the universe. Um, you know, we'll, we'll explore this in a moment with, with a concrete example. But A prime uh, then is defined in set builder notation as all x's such that x is in the universe, an element of u, and x is not in A, not an element of A. All right, so let's take a look at what that means in uh, our case here. The D, I should actually have D here, not U. Um, I mean, it is the universe, but we're using set D there. Um, <coughs> e and T, uh, so, so we can't look at the complement of D because uh, D, is, um, D is the universe, right? Um, I guess you could technically, but it'd be empty, I guess, right? Um, if we look at the complement of D, I was just thinking about that, um, all the elements that are in D and not in D, right, in the universe but not in D, don't exist, right? So there would have to be nothing there. So that would be the empty set, right? The complement of the universe is empty. Um, <clears throat> kind of interesting, um, not what I wanted to really talk about, but it's there. Um, Let's look at the complements of E and T, respectively. Let's look at E first. Complement of E, again, is everything that's in D, but not in E, right? D being the universe. So it's all X's such that X is in D, and X is not in E, right? So that'd be the corresponding set builder notation for this particular case. If I wanted to list this off in roster notation, um, I just look at my set E, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and pick out everything else, right? So if I look at D and just exclude all the evens, that must give me all the odds. So that'd be 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9, okay? That would be the complement of E. And on this Venn diagram, it's all the elements that are not in the E's E circle, right? So here's E's circle with 0, 6, 2, 4, 8. So anything that's not in that circle is 1, 5, 7, 3, and 9, which are in a different order, what I have listed here. Um, let's take a look at the complement of T. Complement of T again, if you look at the universe, you pull out all of the t's, so zero's out, three's out, six and nine, you would end up with one, two, four, five, seven, eight. Okay? One, two, four, five, seven, eight. That's everything except zero, three, six, nine. Okay. Uh, well, that's interesting. That'll work. Uh, now let's also take a look at some weird combinations. Maybe we'll start combining intersections and um, complements and unions and complements. So let's do that for a moment. Um, let's take the complement of E intersect T. So I'm going to take E intersect T complement. Okay. Well, E intersect T is just the, the pair of uh, elements 0, 6, right? So it would technically be the complement of 0, 6. Right? So the intersection is 0, 6. We want its complement, which would be everything else. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, right? So that would be 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, 7, 8, and 9. That would be the complement of the intersection. Um, 
we can also do the complement of the union, right? Complement of the union. In fact, I already have the union traced out in blue here. So let's look at that one. Let's look at E union T complement. Uh, well, of course, the union is all the stuff inside that blue set there. That would be 0, 2, 0, 2, 4, 3, 4. I'll try to keep these in order if I can. 6, 8, 9. And, but we want the complement of that, right? So the union is this set, then we want its complement. Well, the only things not in the blue set there are 1, 5, and 7. So that would be 1, 5, 7. I'm, ah, I squeak that in there. Didn't quite make it, did I? So that's that one. I erased the red. I'm really doing this on limited space here, unfortunately. Um, so it would be the set one, five, seven. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah, it gives you an idea then of what complements are, and um, you know how we can combine them. We'll see a lot more of this as we move through the next uh, next bit of material uh, coming up.